Hey everybody, it's Will. Sorry, I have not been making videos. I've been busy with work and I was gonna make videos too. Um, I'm in Europe right now. I was gonna make some videos, but you know, I just got sidetracked with just being out here again after four years and I just completely spaced on videos. But I am gonna give you a tour of my sonder room and forgive me for some of my personal items maybe out and about i just want to show you guys what this room looks like when it's occupied with your stuff or i mean you know you know what i mean and this is this room is really meant for one person I mean, you can get away with two people um but that's about it um so i'm going to show you this room Sonder, it's in Kensington Gardens in London, so England, so across the pond from North America. So here is the room tour. Okay, as you can see, here is the front door. Here is a map for fire exits. As all, every room has emergency exit plans like this. So this is your room. This is the light switch. You have to you have to press it in. So and then that turns off. Press it again. That turns back on. And also discovered if you turn it left or right, the lights actually dim. Which is really cool. I hope that's coming off well in the video. And right behind the front door is the bathroom. The bathroom is very small. This is a very small room because it's it's London. So, you know, don't be shocked that you'll find very small rooms and the lifts. Well, real quick, here's the rest of the room. bathroom. There's only one vanity and there's a toilet. And that's pretty much it for the bathroom. Um, let's go into the actual bedroom space. Here is your bed. And you have plugs on the on this side of the bed only. Now keep in mind, this is your this is my adapter, you know, from the US to UK plug. Now that's an adapter only. That's not a converter. Um, converters are meant for big electronics like hair dryers, a razor, you know, very powerful laptops. That's when you'll need a converter, but this is an adapter in most smartphones and tablets. Um, I just spaced on the other, the other headphones or like AirPods. You really don't need a converter for those. You just need an adapter. And these two switches control the power for these. So... Right now, that's off for this one. You have to press it down. That turns on the power. So keep in mind, if you're traveling from the U.S. to the U.K. or, or Europe, you have to get an adapter uh, because they use a different electrical system out here. So here's the light for the bed. Here's the bed itself. There's my iPad. Here is the door. Well, it's not really a door. It's like, it's kind of a door, but... It doesn't really open that far, but this is what it looks like on the outside. And uh, it's it's raining. You know, it's London. It always, it always rains here. So if you're traveling here for the first time, keep in mind it's going to rain 90% of the time you're here. So keep that in mind. And let's continue. Here's a really cool art piece. These ceilings are really tall, which which really helps because the actual layout of this room is so small that having high ceilings is really good. And here is a writing desk with a coffee maker. Here's a lamp. You have your TV. Hi. You have your TV here. And then don't mind my suitcase. That safe right here, this, this safe, is actually big enough for a laptop, tablet, and of course, keep your personal items in there too. And you have an ironing board and a place to hang some very uh, delicate clothes. 
And right over here, near the front door is a mirror, so you can get yourself ready as you are gonna go out and explore this great city. It is expensive, so keep that in mind, but London is still a great place to visit. Yes, that is my Peter Frampton t-shirt. I am here to see him at the Royal Albert Hall tonight. Um, I saw him in Glasgow a couple of days ago, so. And that's pretty much it for the Sonder. Um, Sonder is basically like, it's the way I would describe it as, it's not an Airbnb and it's not a hotel chain. It's kind of in between that. There are some locations in Sonder where you can get more of an apartment where that has a full kitchen and maybe a one or two bedrooms. So like if you're staying long term, you can cook in there. Um, but this Sonder that I'm at is actually more of a hotel style. So you're not gonna find any long term uh, stays here. So it's kind of like a hotel. You have your basic uh, amenities you can get like on the second floor, there's a towel station and water station, and it has a lobby. And so definitely check out Sonder. Sonder is a great place, great al great alternative um, between Airbnb and your traditional hotel. Airbnbs are still great. I'm not here to uh, convince people to switch over. If you're just looking for an alternative for a stay, and if Sonder happens to be in your price range, go for it. So anyway, there you go. Um, tomorrow, I'll be heading back to Glasgow and I will do a room tour then. I was gonna do one when I was there, but the jet lag really got to me. So I'll be doing one tomorrow for that hotel, same hotel. And uh, I hope you have a good day.